Hi, I'm Pat Lockington. I'm the pole vault coach, high jump coach, and decathlon coach here at UW Whitewater. And I am a graduate of the school in 2013. So the number of people on the team per year, uh, it does fluctuate. Um, in my experience, it's been roughly 55 men um, and 50 to 45 women in the past, but now that number's grown quite a bit. So since we've kind of had a coaching staff uh, change and uh, priorities kind of, you know, we're, we're getting our recruiting uh, numbers down more solid. So typically we're gonna have at least 55 men, 55 women, if not more, uh, on a team per year. I have had two coaches here at UW-Whitewater in the track and field program for pole vault. My first coach was Adam Dunn. He was for my freshman year. And now I have coach Pat Lockington. Um, there's a, definitely a big difference between the styles of the two. First and foremost is recruiting. Um, coach Lockington is big for recruiting, communicating with potential future athletes, and trying to persuade people to come to UW-Whitewater whereas Coach Dunn had a little bit more of the attitude that he would take what came here and kind of go from there. So in the last few years, we have had an increase in our team size. And um, Coach Lockington also has a lot different of a training program outside of pole vault. So our vault, us vaulters are doing a lot more running and different drill work that we didn't necessarily do with Coach Dunn. Um, the running workouts are a lot more structured and more intense, and that definitely has paid off in the last few years. Um, Coach Dunn had a little bit more of a formal environment, and with Coach Lackington, things are pretty casual, so it's definitely a change, and both coaches are absolutely awesome, and we're lucky to have them here at Whitewater. Uh, there have been a lot of uh, coaching staff changes in the past five years. Um, even from when I was a freshman on the team here, the head coach has changed. Uh, but the assistants have definitely been um, in and out of the doors in a good way. Um, we had two coaches here that were both my coaches when I was competing. Uh, they both now work at Oregon State University at the Division I track program. Um, we've had a different long jump coach when I was competing again, and then a, a multi-high jump coach I was a then coached at a Division II school following on. So they leave for better reasons um, rather than just, not that they didn't enjoy it, but they moved on for uh, you know, advancing positions. The overall team has changed in the last three years, and I think every year there's a slightly different attitude. It honestly is largely influenced by who decides to be a leader, whether or not they're named a captain specifically. Um, different athletes and individuals will definitely step up and some will play a more involved role. You definitely get people who um, like to lead by example, which is also very important and awesome. So throughout the last three years, um, my freshman year, we had a lot of very direct leadership, people really stepping in and telling you exactly what needs to be done, which is super useful as a freshman, and it's nice to have that extra guidance. And last year, we had some leaders that were more of a friendly style leader, which can be good and bad, um, definitely some positives and negatives. This year, I think our leaders are trying to really um, take the same role that they did my freshman year. So they're definitely trying to set themselves apart a little bit in the way of showing that they lead by example and do what needs to be done and make that very clear exactly what we need to be doing on and off the track as athletes. The overall changes in the teams from year to year, um, besides quirky personalities, has been the, um, the amount of motivation each. Uh, I'm a good coach, aren't I? Um, I think it's what everyone brings to the table and then what people you know, share with each other as teammates. And I think like you know, one person does well and that motivates another person, that kind of gets contagious. And we've had a lot of success, which is breeding more success, and that's kind of becoming a, a team thing. So now everyone's hungry for you know, a piece of that success pie. And, uh, I think that's kind of been the nicest change that I've seen over the years, all the years being a coach and an
So when I started off here, uh, a few years prior to me arriving, we actually got off one of the school's best performances in 2007, 2006, I believe, uh, where the men brought home a third place trophy or fourth place trophy for Nationals. And then by the time I got here, a lot of that talent had graduated, so we really started kind of at the bottom again, taking fourth and uh, fifth as a team in conference level. Uh, so that's, you know, we started kind of the bottom and now we're here. <laughs> um, and second in the nation last year uh, during indoor. So we've, we've grown a lot as a team and that hasn't come without its you know, hiccups and bumps, but uh, we've definitely got a lot better. And I think that comes from you know, getting the right people on the team with you know, good attitudes on top of also having uh, pretty good coaches. How much equipment that we get as a team, uh, that's kind of as needed. So if we need new pole ball poles, we get it. If we need new blocks, we'll get them. Uh, but we're not going to go out of our way to actively try to just buy things to buy things. We get them if we absolutely need them. <laughs> the one word I describe uh, the history of the track team is evolving. And that's in a lot of ways, you know, we've evolved a lot, we've, you know, and that could almost mean maturing. Uh, evolving a lot as a team is we take on different forms every year just because the personalities on the team change and how people react to other people. That's, that's kind of the evolution of it, but we've also grown in success and we're growing in numbers. And the numbers aren't diluting our success, it's actually making us more successful. So it's kind of like an amoeba that, you know, moves and creates a new shape, but we still, we're still getting better results each year. So. One word that describes my experience on the track team would be commitment. Passionate. Adaptive. All-inclusive. Competitive!